my attention that I'm late. <laughs> and I know that's because, once again, I couldn't find my dimensionals. I was planning to clean up. But hi, everyone. Hooray, it's Thursday. And we're back, and I'm going to do another live video. And I'm thinking this time should be better than last time because I hopefully won't lose the light. So it's the last day of celebration, and I found something in my little list of goodies that I received from Celebration that I didn't haven't used yet. So today, that's what we're going to ink up. Now, um, I'll just turn the screen around and off we'll go. Okie dokie. Now, I'm still learning, as you can imagine, and, or as, as you can imagine, I'm still learning, so bear with me, okay? <laughs> I still can't see comments. I've been educated to figure out how to do it, but do you think my mouse is going to play nicely? Oh, here we go. And let's see how we're going. So I had a friend say, um, what's happening? Where are you? Um, Sharon, I'm here <laughs> and you're not now. So, okay, I'm going to have a look at, we're going to play with bigger swish and textures and frames. So this is our little set. This is our celebration catalogue. It's ending today, 11.59. Don't want to um, miss the boat. Great freebies in here. And I'm going to play with the textures and frames, which is free with a $90 spend at the moment. Oh, today, last day. Okay. So I've actually pulled out the nice spotty one. And I've got a couple of things up my sleeve here. It's already on a block. My birthday and my happy out of our biggest wish is already on um, my Stamparatus. And I bought in a couple of colours. Don't know what happened there. Actually, yes, I do. I'm missing a piece. So we've got some soft suede. We've got some Night of Navy and we've got some Merry Merlot. Okay, our envelopes because we always need envelopes. And, of course, a whole... <laughs> Sharon, <laughs> a whole heap of card fronts. I, I, I cut these ready, I don't know about you guys, and I end up with a bucket load of these left over. So what I have a tendency to do is I usually try and use them as sentiment strips, but my birthday, in my big words, the how, if I show you using the happy, it doesn't fit. Only just, you know, but not for what I want to do. So I'm just going to show you a little trick, which will mean we don't actually need any extra pieces. This is going to be a card, and I'm going to, I've got two colours because I'm going to do two, just to show you a bit of variety. Let's pop these card bases to the side. Pop that to the side. So I'm actually going to do card front and a card front. And because we've got them, these are going to also, because I'm using a non-white base, I'm also going to have some card in it okay so I'll just pop those to the side so these are going to be essentially my two bases gosh my desk is messy and you can see it <laughs> all right so I'm using that that circle splot one I'm going to make a pattern background just with this and then I'm actually going to cut it out and I will we'll go from there so just a boy card and girl card, okay? Because I don't know about you guys, but male cards are, I find, harder. A bit more of a challenge. All right. Did I bring my mat? Yes, I did. Okay. So, yeah, I feel like I've got all fingers and thumbs. I'm just going to pop this under here. Photopolymer stamp set, nice foam mat underneath. Just gives us a better image. Now, I haven't had a practice one. I will give you the heads up. So what you see is what you're going to get. Let's start with our boy card. So I've got Balmy Blue, Night of Navy, and my soft, set, soft suede to go with my cardstock. And where did I... It's right in front of me, my stamp. I wonder if that bubble's going to make it. No, no. Can you see that? Hi, Myrtle. How are you going? I've got a bubble under there that I don't particularly want. And it's gone. Okay. 
So I'm actually going to do my text in Knight of Navy, okay? Um, so there won't be as much Knight of Navy on this card. Balmy Blue is my lightest colour, so I'll actually start with it. If you find your ink pad is really juicy, it will be all sploppy. I'm going to start at the top because then if it's all sploppy, I can do something with it. But you know what? It's not. It's perfect. Now, I have... I'm going to make your bump. Hopefully it doesn't make it too bumpy. I'm actually just... Believe it or not, these are random. Okay. I cut my um, chamois in, in half. Does any, hi Donna. Does anyone else? Um, mainly because then I can actually use one to get the majority of my ink off. And then, I know it doesn't look like it, but one to actually really give it a good clean. Then I want to use, so, I, and these have just been through the washing machine with a dark load. They're still much looking loved. Okay. I'm actually regretting not stamping, putting ink on this stamp set before now. I really like it. Don't say things to the last minute. Last minute, Charlie here. Okay. I could have got a lot more use out of this stamp set if I'd used it when I actually got it. Um, which was near the beginning of celebration. And now we're right at the end. And I'm feeling like I could have loved it so much more. And I'm starting to think that would make a really nice background for a scrapbook page. What do you actually think, Sharon? Do you reckon that we could do a scrapbook page with all spots? So, in quarters? Okay. I just find that two halves and they fit perfectly in one of the... I, I've got three here. Three halves, you know, makes a full. Um, two halves fit perfectly in one of the slimline cases. And then they don't go as, they don't dry out as quickly. But there's a stray there. Okay, so I've got my Knight of Navy and my Balmy Blue. And just because I'm using my soft suede background, I will put a little bit of soft suede. I don't want a lot because I'm toying up with a, I did say I was going to use a Knight of Navy sentiment, but I'm toying up with whether I am or not. Oh, that's nice and dark. You can stamp these off and get a completely different colour. I so want to put that one there. And do you know what? I could be brave and just do it, knowing what I'm going to do next. Will it line up, though? <laughs> Should I do it? I don't want any of them to overlap. <laughs> oh, I really don't want them. Okay, let me just see something. If I make that my top, I don't need to. <laughs> okay, I really don't need to. But if I make it the bottom, yeah, no, that, one, that one's going to be my bottom bit. All right, there's only going to be a little bit of suede on that one. While I've got it out and about, let's just clean that stamp off. Keep my soft suede out. Put those two babies away and get out this one. Okay, let's start with a little bit extra of soft suede this time, just for something. I don't want to put it too close to that strip there because I know what's going there next. And now do you, you do too. <laughs> Alright, so I have some Merlot. It's gone a bit funny. Haven't used this one in a while, so I'll just give it a bit of a massage with my... It's just a, a spoon. I usually wear a black pair of pants or a black apron but I'm not today, so I won't wipe it on my shorts like I normally do, but I can just wipe, clean the spoon on my sponge. If you find your ink pads really juicy, that's also a good time to do that because it just gives it a nicer, a nicer, softer look. It doesn't squelch, for want of a better word. 
and then I didn't go lightest to darkest like I said to at the beginning but that's all right and we'll just clean this one off okay and oh, this one needs a bit of rubbing as well you can see how it's got some lines on it that's just because I haven't used this color for a while and I, sometimes when they sit they like to pull where I'm used to using them and this one gets quite a bit of love so it's been re-inked a couple of times oh I like those colors together might have to do a little bit more slate on it though I think some more slate up there <laughs> you can make a scrapbook page and share it to the scrapbook and global page I think I might just do that I know that looking at who's watching I know that you all know about the scrapbooking global page but if anyone is watching this later and I re put it on replay there is a scrapbooking global page for people that like to use Stampin' Up products um, if you want to join us you can um, ah that's a good idea um, Sharon's just pointed out that if she uses it she puts a wet cloth under her on the table so that they <laughs> So that her customers have something to pick up and clean the edges of the block with because um, they like to press heavy that's that's a really good point you don't actually with these stamp pads they're really juicy you don't have to press real hard you can actually just stick the block on it the block can do all the work that one didn't the ink is very well very well just give it a little bit of a press um, with our old pads we used to say give it a rub and pat it this one you just need to pat it the actual block, I don't know if you can see that real well. I don't know how focused it is for you. The actual block doesn't need to touch your ink pad at all. See the gap there? All right, so. And, sorry, I had to hold my tongue in the right spot to make sure I got that in the right spot. I really like that color combo. That's pretty. I'm glad we picked to do that one. Oh, cool. If I do say so myself. I love talking to myself no I don't I actually find it very difficult <laughs> which is probably why lives have always been difficult. It's something that I thought oh I can't do that and knowing that there's a bit of a delay um, sometimes makes me go oh I don't really oh I forgot to do my inners and my envelopes oh, good golly gosh okay inners and envelopes they just have to match the front a bit just to tizzy them up now I'm not going to use the um, suede in the inside this inside can have some Knight of Navy, just pop it on and don't press it too hard, just flop it around a bit. Bit of Knight of Navy in that corner. There's my envelope. Now, stamp goes up in this corner up here, colour in the other corner. Because we don't want to do things that are even, if you wanted to, you could stamp all the back like I did last week. Okay, but because I'm making two cards, I don't want to take up that time. Obviously, I'm actually going to make a whole heap of these. This is going to be a birthday. These are going to be birthday cards, but I'm also going to make a whole heap of thank you ones because I'm thinking that those customers that have spent that bought from me throughout celebration, because there's been quite a few of them, need a thank you card. And I normally like to send out something to say thank you. So, some some balmy blue. Um. I'm thinking that they might need one of these cards to arrive in your mailbox. That's one envelope there. A little bit of balmy blue there. And maybe a little bit there. I'm not going to put anything on the inside sentiment wise on this one. Okay. Because I can actually write in it. This the, the boy one's for mum. Alright. Oh not usually that big an effort now because I actually really like that flamingo look I'm gonna do predominantly the middle this one no can't. this one needs a little bit of flamingo because my base for my card is going to be mellow so I'm getting a nice mess happening here 
I'm just very conscious that these are water-based inks and I don't know if anyone's ever done it, but if I put that on there and just try and stamp it again, I often, I'll get the brown, it'll pick up some of the, the color from that soft suede. So I'm very conscious not to, to do it along that edge. Merlot is hiding over here. My friend Linda's got a cat called Merlot. It's black and white though. My mum thinks Merlot's pretty smooth and hers is usually this colour. I think my auntie doesn't mind it either. I might get in trouble for saying that. But <laughs> you never know. Okay, one envelope. I hope I did it. Yep, I did it the right way. I just thought I better check. Oh, first block. I don't know if you can see that. There's like this tiny little dot. And now you see it. No, you don't. Ta da, it's fixed. I've got a friend that comes. When we're allowed to have people over, I can't wait. I've got a hair appointment coming up, and I've got a friend coming over, and I've got classes are going to start back up. Um, it's fun. I had some great ones that would have been great for celebration, but that's okay. You can order online, for, today's the last day for celebration, but you can order online anytime. But um, I've got, I lost my train of thought completely. Um, <laughs> I've got a friend coming over and one of my favorite things to say to her, and I say it on a regular basis and she just laughs at me is, there's no such thing as mistakes because I'm really good at putting fingerprints on stuff. There's only more reason to embellish. Now, I know that those that were watching at the beginning are thinking, hold on a second, that still doesn't have happy birthday and all that sort of stuff that I said it was going to have on it. That's correct, it doesn't. How cool do they look? I just wanted to see how good they looked before I did that. All right, so now I'm just going to pull them apart again. And I'm actually going to pull out my mat because it's going to get in my way. I'm bringing my Stamparatus. Hopefully you can see. Need to be, got a challenge for me this week. Nice to clean up my craft room. If anyone could see my craft room behind me or near my husband, or could visit, but because you can't, would know that's actually a big challenge. So, what am I gonna do? I've got birthday and I've got happy. And I don't know if you just saw me flicking that around. It is a nice one. Um, the, that's what I love about the stamp writers. It's multi-positional purpose, multi-purpose positional tool that goes up and down. You can put them anywhere you want them, round and round. There's four different options. You actually get two of these when you buy them. So I've got my happy here. When I pop this here, that happy's gonna land there. And it's gonna get put on here in navy. After I find it. Right here beside me. And I know how many of you are sitting there laughing at me going, it's just there beside you on the other side court. The, the dots are really good for this. If you've bought any of our kits, the kits are magnificent. A couple of kits and you've got a freebie at the moment. But the kits are magnificent because they come with little stamping spots. And they make, make no mess. So I've got ink all the way around here, but with the Stamparatus, it actually doesn't matter. There's one happy. Now, I'll just put that over there so I don't stick my arm in it. I actually want that, but I actually want to move it over. I wanted to put it over there, over here. So to do that, I can't. Well, that was bad planning on my part. So guess what? I'm not going to, I'm just going to move it. I thought I'd worked it all out before I swipe all that off. I thought I worked it all out before I started because you know that's what you're supposed to do. I actually want that to fall there. But now that I've moved it, I've other colour combo is not going to be in the same spot. 
but we might be able to play with that. So you're seeing this ink around here isn't landing on my project because we don't want my, that ink to land on my project. Now, this is where I'm going to be a bit tricky. I upped it 90 degrees, flipped it. So now my birthday is just here. So that works out quite nicely. Nice spacing, might actually move it up just a smidge. There's all lines on the Stamparatus, on the um, on this Perspex, so that you can line things up straight, because my mum's a bit neurotic and she likes things straight, and I don't know where I got that from, because I'm a bit the same. I'll just clean that so I don't end up with ink all over myself. And I'm actually gonna go like that. And I will use my magnet because otherwise, I don't, I can't guarantee it's in the right spot the next time if I have to go and re-ink it again. Because sometimes I find with solid photopolymer, you get spotty bits. And I don't know what it is about this birthday. Oh, it must have been something on my ink pad. That's another good thing about the chamois. I don't know if anyone's noticed, but when you're using um, baby wipes, you get bits of fibre all over everything and they hang around like nothing on earth. There's a hair on there. And I'm afraid it has to stay for this one. But the baby wipes leave fibres everywhere. And I'm finding them months and sometimes, sometimes ages afterwards on my stamps, especially the photopolymer. They seem to... I don't know, attract it like magnet type thing. Before I do what I want to do with this, because you're thinking, what the blazes? Anyone know what I'm going to do with that? I'll give you the opportunity to have a couple of guesses before I actually tell you. Um, I'll do this one. Now I'm thinking, based on where that lands, we're going with Merlot. So we'll do the Merlot first on, and look, here it is. Here's one I prepared earlier. Uh, based on the color, because there's a Merlot one here and I want it to be a bit darker, I'm gonna go twice. I should have used the suede actually, that would have looked nice. Okay, yep. Don't close it quite, you need it again. You want it up but I want it in that space that's there look I could pull it off and just stick it in there but why no I will because I can and that's easier than fiddling with it and I'll work it out for another time I just want to pop it there yep that looks good I think I'll move my birthday up again as well. I think my birthday might have to be in a different colour. Happy, 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 happy. Well, that one's a bit hard to read. Oh, hindsight, beautiful thing. Next time, make it a light colour over that side. Okay, clean it. So Courtney doesn't wear it my birthday land this time actually it's going to land perfect and I'm going to stamp it in crumb cake what planet am I on and I'm going to stamp it in soft suede I've been hanging out with these families for a long time these stampin' up colors it's my stamp anniversary stampin anniversary next year and oh, next year next week I've been stamping, I've been a stamping up demonstrator for nine years. See, there's more fluff. Oh, let's see if I can get rid of it. Yeah, get rid of some fluff. Right. I 
was using this set at my eyes, but I don't think we used a baby wipe on it. I don't usually. I've got quite a few um, cut up sponges. Some of that is darker than other bits. But that looks nice. I think I'll leave that one. Just whisper to myself, hopefully. Don't say anything to me. So, so now I've got my happy happy on the correct side of my... Oh, it, my gosh, look. Now I need baby wipes. Hmm, okay. Yeah. Washes off. I might need to wash my hair tonight. Okay, so I've got happy, happy on one side and I've got birthday on the other. So I'm going to put this away. And I'm going to pull out my trimmer. Now, if I've done my planning correctly. I love this trimmer. It's good. It's nice and big. It's got nice, big, deep blades. Oh, I need to clean in here a bit. Shh, don't look. Just lift that. Oh, I didn't clean it from last week. Can you see all the little bits of sparkle that just popped out? If you clean your tracks regularly, <laughs> your blade lasts longer. <laughs> we'll just pop that onto the floor. Now, I don't know if, if you've got the old trimmer, which I love, and I've kept from when I cut up Glimmer, except if, unless I'm doing it on a video. Um, the I've got a trim, trimmer that's just my Glimmer trimmer, which is my older one, because the Glimmer blunts the blades. But I have a tendency to like pushing up. So on a regular basis, I actually turn, the blades come out really easily. I turn turn my blade around now I don't know which way I went in but that all came out but that's fine so I turn my blade around because I do like to push up rather than pull down and that's just me the score tool on here is the bomb it scores beautifully and it's really accurate but we're not using that this time so birthday happy happy birthday so what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to cut out now I've lined up the bottom of the word birthday with just by my eye just so that I can see that it's just on that side so it's only going to be a couple of millimeters below it right and then I'm going to put it just to the other side and do the same for the top right so it's just a little bit bigger than my birthday and then I'm just going to take off just, I just want a little bit off. I don't want a lot. So it works out as probably about two mil. So more or less just to the other side of the, the cutting track. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I can. But I just want some of that mill to show through. Okay. So now I've got three pieces for one card. And we're going to do it again. Just to the... So I can just see the bottom of the word there. And so I can just see the top of the word there. And I've got enough room. Got enough room. Couple more. Now, if I didn't have enough room there, you can take it off the top. See, that's why I like to push. Then I don't end up with that. Now, you'll notice I've got like a little edge, for want of a better word. That can go to the side. My phone mat that developed legs can come back in. And with my phone folder, just push on that edge. And it just takes away that lip. Okay, that one should be right, and this one will have the lip on one side of it. Okay, so that one's that one. Get rid of my lip on here. The only reason I'm using it on the mat is because I have a tendency to push a bit firmer. If I push too hard, it 
the paper doesn't do what I want it to do when I push it just straight on my desk. Okay, and there's that one. Got my most favourite um, fibre in the whole catalogue, which is the linen thread. Was a time where I used it on everything. And now we're going to literally just put them together. So, hopefully my glue will play nice today. Yep, multi-purpose glue. And hold your tongue right so that you get it square. So are you loving this set? Did you like all the other stuff that was in... What was your favorite? Anyone that's still watching, what was your favourite thing in the celebration catalogue that you got for free? Just curious. I ended up with the Christmas paper because I do have the reindeer set and I do love it. And the, of course, the textures and frames that I hadn't used. And I have the sheet coming on their way, but Australia Post in all their glory still have those with them. They're taking their sweet time. They're getting here, slowly but surely. Um, and I also have the, the paper that we used later, the beautifully pinned paper that we used last, later, that we used last week. Now, do you see what I'm doing? How smooth does that look? Now, the girl is gonna have to have some bling and look, just looking around my table, there is none on it. So I actually wanna put this one flat. And you can always chop off a bit more before you glue if you if you sort of wiggle it and see. You can always chop off a little bit more to make sure so that the gap in the middle is a bit bigger. So I'll just make put this one here. Because I think that gap there probably needs to be a bit bigger. And because I'm not cutting out on that side, I could have just cut this bit off here before. Oh, my shirt got stuck. Take a hair's breadth off. I'm gonna have to do it to the other one as well, but I'll do that in a sec. Just because I want to, some more of that navy to show through. Yeah, that's better. what you could do instead of rubbing it with your bone folder just turn it over and chop it again I want to make sure that the top because you want to make sure all three of these line up okay and one little bit goes a long way with this glue if you put too much too close to the edge it squelches out makes a mess, this glue does not dry clear, does not dry fully, it dries tacky. You will end up putting fingerprints on it, it will end up sticking to your envelope if it squelches out the side. Just saying. And we'll just chop a little bit of this one off as well. Didn't chop what? All right. Now, this is behind a little bit, just saying. So, Sharon's written, oh no, you didn't chop it. Yes, I did. I chopped lots of things. I chopped my piece of cardboard up, my card, my card front up, of course, because then I could do this with it. But I just put that around the wrong way. Who knows? I don't remember. Now it's back the right way. Yep, I chopped it. Why not? Because you can. But it also means I didn't need to cut another piece. And my scraps from the edge, which I had great plans in using, didn't fit the word that I wanted to fit on it. So I needed to chop. Okay, now these are gonna be on with dimensionals. These are gonna be on with some, um, that's gonna be on with dimensionals and I'm gonna put some twine on it. Now there's a couple, I'm gonna do two different ways of twine, okay? Find the end is my first effort. Somewhere on my table, and amongst all my mess, where I'm not looking, 
on the other side of the room is some paper tape. So two ways to do twine. Let's do the blokey side first because blokes don't need bow. Well, this blo these blokes aren't getting a bow. I want it on that side. So I'm going to wind it around a couple of times. I'm not going to do it very tight. So I've gone around three times. I could have just put, got to hold my finger on it. Could have just put that straight on for all three of them. Trim that. Blokes don't get a bow. Most blokes, when I do things, get knots. So I round that round there a couple of times and I'm just tying a knot in it. Okay. The dog's snoring. Okay. To me, that's now a bit too loose. But I actually don't mind it. So come out here, just manipulate it a little bit. That's literally just tied on. And you can move it up and down because it's just tied on. I'm going to tighten that a bit just because I can. my family trying to be really quiet in the kitchen I had words with them before I started you know what's the biggest one that's the naughty one but he's good I left the other two I didn't I, I tried this I decided to try this week but I told mum that I'm doing a live video because it's normally her that disturbs me but I tried to I decided not to tell the kids I mean, they're grown up kids, but I decided not to tell them. Just putting some dimensionals, and yes, I like lots and lots of dimensionals. Um, not tell them that I'm doing this, and the reason being is they're less likely to come out. Okay. They're sticking to me. If you have trouble getting these off, you can use your take your pick tool. Or you can push your finger in the middle of them and then and they come off easier one blokey card you like oh, girl bow same sort of thing we're going to do but um, I want it to have multiple bows so let's see if I can do this I'm going to go around it again let's see I'll try and do it around it three times again one two three three times a chart we don't want it too tight because I don't want it to curl when I pull on it. Because I'm going to pull on it. Okay, trim that off. Yeah. Play nice, play nice. Round my fingers three times. I hope this works. Worked for me before. Maybe I didn't do it big enough. Okay. <laughs> Going off a memory that's here that's going to give me grief. I have a sneaking suspicion. Yeah, that's good. So I've gone around my fingers a few times. Many times as you like. Don't want that piece. And I don't want, where's the other end? Yeah. I don't want those pieces because I'm going to just use them to trim. And I've gone around, so I've got fat little fingers and just literally tied that massive lot of them in a knot. 
And then you've got these two bits to trim. That bit. And that bit. And then I've got I've got enough bits of here that I can do a messy bow. And sometimes it's just a matter of forcing it into submission as to where you want it to be. I ended up with one more loop than I wanted. I wanted three, but I've got three on one side and I've got four on the other. Let's make those a bit shorter. And ta-da, there's a different bow. Okay. So we'll just put this one together and stick on heaps and heaps of dimensionals. So as I'm coming to an end, I don't know, oops, I'm wanting to know, did everybody get all the things that they wanted from Celebration? In, Australia, in the Australian market, everything, as of just before I started this live, everything was still available. For all the free items there's choices for if you purchase something if you purchase goodies up to ninety dollars there's choices for if you purchase something if you make purchases to 180 dollars there's actually other stuff that you get so there's lots of variety and then if you were to have a it's too late for a workshop but if you were to put an order in worth at 500 dollars i'd be asking you why didn't you join because there's an amazing joining special. Um, there's also a stamp set for workshop orders over five hundred dollars. The the joining um, there is a joining special. So anyone that wants to join with my team, you get there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve stamp sets to choose from. The joining special is that you get your $235 worth of product for $169, plus you get one of these bundles, which are from the um, July, August to December um, mini catalog, which is all the good Christmas stuff. Okay, so you do have those choices. I will actually, actually I'll put a button below. There is also a button on my link tree as well, so that you can join if you would like. Otherwise, you, you can get this stamp set free with every $90, free with a $90 spend. Let's pop these bits on the inside. You can get uh, the bedazzling paper, which is pretty. I've got one little piece of it sitting on my desk from last time. Um, there's design series paper. There's other stamp sets. There's frame uh, dies. The uh, what are they called? Sheep have a, a die set that goes with them. So if you put in a hundred and eighty dollar order, again I'd be asking you why didn't you join? But because for $180, you could have got $169. Uh, you could have got $235 worth of product for $169 instead. Stampin' Up are great. Like, they give away heaps of free stuff. Thanks, Karen. Um, they give away... I love celebration. There's not another celebration until January, so you don't want to have to wait that long before you can get some good free stuff again. Um, so, you know... You might want to, sorry, I've got to hold my tongue straight and really put on cuckoo. Does anyone else find they do that? I'm really good at, oh, really good at, this provides wiggle room. I'm really good at putting things on cuckoo when I'm talking. So there's a girl and a boy version if you want to be totally stereotypical and make it boy and girl versions. Okay. Um, sorry. So as I was saying, um, if you purchase any anything out of any catalog, including the clearance rack online, for ninety dollars or greater, you can pick a celebration item. You could get this stamp set for free. So you could get some cardstock, another stamp set, bring it all as some adhesive, bring it all up just over the ninety dollar mark, and you can get the stamp set for free. If you were to join, you can pick. You don't get this stamp set. They don't let you double dip, but that's okay. They're actually really generous. You get to pick $235 worth of products from either of the two catalogs that are current and the clearance rack. So if you want any more information, just give me a holler and I'm more than happy to chat you through anything that you want to know about, answers, questions, etc. But for now, 
excuse my messy desk and hope to catch you on the other side so i'll just take this off here you can have a look out my window at my pipes down the back back and hey and it's me again um <laughs> thanks for popping in and saying hi and um i will catch up with you later the of i'm going to try and make this a regular occurrence or a regular event whichever way you want to look at it although i will admit i am applying for some jobs at the moment so we'll see how we go and we'll see what happens when we then thanks sharon i really appreciate that that's good um i will see you all next time thank you